All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So I took two photos <clears throat> from two phones and I put them on uh, a few social media sites and said, hey, which one do you like first or second? And uh, it's always interesting to see people's response and what they think the phones are. <clears throat> but I also <clears throat> I love to do these kind of blind camera tests like this because it just goes to show that, you know, you can't be biased if you don't know which is which. And there is a lot of bias and there's, there's a lot of people who are always shocked when they find out the phone they picked was not their favorite phone. Well, in, in the two photos, uh, the second photo is actually the Pixel Fold and the first is the Z Fold 5. Now, I love reading the comments uh, from people when they think, you know, it's a phone. I just, I just find it hilarious, but I think we can all measure by now. If you know phones, you know that the second picture is probably a pixel just based on the tones given. Uh, and you also know, you should know by now that Samsung phones tend to be a little bit more bright. Uh, as much as I tried to get the photo to really be balanced, I didn't want to edit the photos. And so I didn't, and I just stood in the same position and took the photos from the devices. Now, to Samsung's credit, they actually have a wide angle lens for portrait as well. They're, all of their lenses can do portrait with, with Google uh, you, you're you're forced to be really close or you're stopped at a certain distance uh, but nonetheless I used the widest lens I could use for the pixel to take that photo and had to stretch my arms out pretty far to get that that's to match that length but with Samsung you can use either one of the lenses to take a portrait shot and I really like that but nonetheless to me the winner obviously was the pixel fold because the pixel fold has more detail and it's known for taking better photos this isn't something that's new uh, but when you start to compare a lot of photos taken by the two phones, you should be able to figure it out. Now, obviously, a lot of these people uh, commenting probably thought, I saw one comment, the person said it was the S23 Ultra. Well, no, the S20 Ultra, S23 Ultra has a little bit better picture-taking capabilities than the, than the Z Fold 5. Uh, and uh, I can see the difference in the tones. And so I didn't use the S23 Ultra at all in those photos. Uh, it was just the Fold 5 and the Pixel Fold. Now, both of these phones are actually really solid, and I think you'll be happy with either one. But it just goes to show that when you start to put photos and things next to other devices, you really get the gist of how well they can actually perform. So blind camera tests are always fun and i love to pop up photos on social media or videos sometimes and and tell a person hey what, what do you think of this photo people instantly don't like uh they feel like they're being tricked i guess or whatever but in reality this just takes away any kind of bias you could possibly think of but like i said tech enthusiasts or people who have the devices if you're fortunate enough to have both of these devices you would have been able to pick out these two devices um sometimes i put photos from older devices in there uh, just to see how people will respond. And then I, after I tell them, they still don't believe me. They still want proof. Well, in this situation, to me, it was very clear that the second photo was going to be better after I took it. Uh, in reality, I did take like several shots with the Z Fold 5 uh, to try to match as close or get the best shot I could uh, to, to take it up to the one photo I took with the Pixel Fold. Uh, and you know, the, the Z Fold 5 cameras are phenomenal. But, you know, when you're taking a portrait shot, there are some things I like about the Fold 5 portrait shots, and there are some things I like about the Pixel Fold portrait shots. Uh, but there's a lot of things when it comes down to doing a blind camera test uh, where it, it's just... It, it, it's just the best way to go, I say. Sometimes I don't like to give the results of things too quickly because then people say, oh, you know, I knew that's what it was. Well... And some people get a little antsy right up front because they, they don't want to give an answer because they want to know which phones take them. So I used to, back in the day, take a photo uh, and label it. I would go into an editor and type on the bottom corner, Pixel Fold or Fold 5, you know, but I found that doing that actually creates a bias and people will pick a product or pick a phone if they have it or not. They will pick it if they have or not. There's a lot of different scenarios I can do and take photos with both these devices. And the Pixel, to me, will always come out on top. However, when it comes down to what I like to call the nail in the coffin for Samsung is their video. 
the video on the on the Z Fold 5 trumps uh, the Pixel Fold because the colors, in my per, uh, uh, personal preference, they don't match up to reality enough on the Pixel Fold. And I find that kind of strange that Google still hasn't honed in on their AI for their video like they've done on their photos. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here is the Pixel Fold. This is the Pixel Fold's cameras. Uh, and uh, let me get my Z Fold 5 out of my pocket here just to show you. Let's see here. Here is my Z Fold 5 right there. I've got wide angle turned on on the Pixel Fold right now. And you can see what the colors look like. Zoom in. The, the wide angle lens on the Pixel Fold is just not that great. Let me pan up here to these signs right here. Yeah, it looks really good because the light is behind the camera. But let's see how Samsung is going to do in the same scenario. And these cars, by the way, are completely different colors. This is a red mist, which is a really deep candy apple red. And look at how the Pixel Fold is portraying it. And this car is no metallic flakes in it. It's kind of like a deep red, but not as deep as the Corvette. The Tesla is much brighter in color, but look at how the Pixel Fold is, is handling it. All right, now let's switch over to the Z Fold 5. All right, now, instantly you can already tell the difference in these colors of these cars, right? And here's my Pixel Fold, just so you know, I'm being truthful here. You can see the difference in the color of these cars with the Fold 5 a little bit better. I can pan up here and pan around and then look at how Samsung does the colors on the wall of the of the flags on this side. So going wide angle, you can still tell the difference in the colors. Now, one thing I do like about Google's uh, uh, phone for taking videos, you got four stage, you got four steps. Uh, I really like that. You got a, a, I think it was a four or five, no, a three or five, two in a in the widening, I believe it is. But in this shot right here, you can clearly see the difference. And this is where Samsung just kills it when it comes to video. It's so clear. A lot of times I shoot with the S23 Ultra when I'm going doing things on my car channel and I just leave it in wide angle lens because it's so good. It is so good. Also, I want you to take note of the microphones as well. One of the fans is on and it is that one up there. I turned off this big one down here, but that one is not on and just that fan is on. And I just think Samsung does a much better job at video than Google. And I need Google to dial in, dial in your video. It's unfair that the, it's, it's, it's not unfair. It's, it's sad that Google still hasn't mastered the art of video yet to my standards to shoot with. Now let's get back inside. Am I wrong? I cleaned the camera lens, by the way. If you're wondering, use a nice, clean, fresh camera lens to clean cleaner with. I have, I have, I have cleaners, glass cleaners and I have microfiber cloths. I just use a fresh set to clean these. And it is just sad that Google still has not given us the proper video cameras for this device. It, this is such a, look at how beautiful this is. Team porcelain, by the way. Yeah, and I'm daily driving my Pixel Fold, man. Don't, don't get it wrong, I'm daily driving this thing. SIM card in it, rolling with it. I told you in another video that I sometimes rotate between the devices, uh, but pretty much this is my daily driver, but Samsung has mastered the art of video and then their photos are not bad. It's just that when you put it up against something else that takes, I would consider much better photos, then you can see what it's like. So when it comes down to, like if I didn't tell you which phone was doing which video, you, you really wouldn't be able to, like if I just didn't do this video and just posted two short clips online, you would pick the Samsung more than likely because it appears to have a much better color representation. That's just me. I, I mean, I can't tell you what you would have done, but I would, I would choose over for video on its worst day. 
Now imagine me pulling out the S23 Ultra and doing so. Now one thing I wanna say though, the Pixel 7 Pro and the Pixel 7 uh, and the 7a have, the 7 Pro and the 7 really have good video. Should I, should I just, just go pull it out and show you or? I don't feel like going to my storage. Listen, it's like right there. I still, I don't wanna go back in the garage. But I can tell you, it appears that the 7 Pro and the 7 have a little bit better video quality than the Pixel Fold. How is that possible? I mean, I think Google really is going to knock it out the park with the next generation of this device. They better do another generation. They better do it. They don't have a choice now. They gotta, don't do like Microsoft, <laughs> come back with some nonsense. They, they're doing the opposite of what Microsoft's doing. They came with this ugly bump right off the top. Microsoft did it the second time and just ruined their chance of people even wanting to buy that phone anymore. That's why I'm sticking with my OG. But I think Google is going to slaughter the game with the second generation of this. But if they don't up their video game, at least for me, you know, every user has a use case scenario. Everybody has some reason why they might love a device. And yeah, I'm kind of over Google being the pixel king of photos and all this kind of stuff. Kind of over that. Because, because video in reality is definitely way more important to me than photos. Um, I could live with Samsung's photos that are, you know, too bright sometimes because I can edit in post. I really could. But with Google, no editing for photos at all. Uh, just a phenomenal set of cameras for photos. Portrait shots are off the charts. Like, they're still king of portraits, but kind of over that. I'm ready to start comparing more video. So, I say to you. What do you think about the video and the photos that come out of the Pixel versus the Z Fold 5? Personally, I think the story is really old that Google is still the king of photos and everybody else is the king of video over Google. And they have such a huge opportunity right here. I just really hope and pray that they don't mess up like Microsoft did. It's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Still the king of photos, but where's that video at, Google?